Hi, it's Megan again, and welcome to the Learn How to Monetize More video series. Moving along through our tutorials on how to master DFP, today we'll discuss creating channels in Google Ad Exchange. In the initial part of the series, we familiarized you with basic DFP functions involving AdSense and Ad Exchange. Today's tutorial on DFP outlines how you can further integrate Ad Exchange into DFP by creating Ad Exchange channels. While we'll perform the majority of the following steps through the Ad Exchange interface, we'll show you how you can use DFP to monitor your site's inventory if you've implemented Ad Exchange creatives into your DFP ad tags. The goal of this tutorial is to help you create suitable Ad Exchange channels to help you segment your Ad Exchange traffic for reporting and other purposes. Let's begin by logging into our Ad Exchange account. The first step is to go to the Inventory tab. We then want to navigate to the left hand side and click Channels. Let's go ahead now and click the New Channel button, and in the Name field, select the Publisher name. Depending on how you choose to name your channels, you can then add a channel name in the Channel field. For our purposes, we'll use Channel 5. Let's now go to the Inventory field and search for our domain name. Once we've chosen the domain name, we'll now select the inventory relevant to our channel. In our example, we have one tag named monetizemore.com, 728 by 90, channel 5, another tag named monetizemore.com, 300 by 250, channel 5, and so on. Let's go ahead and click Include, and we'll see our ad units displayed in the right box. Lastly, let's click Save. Amongst other reasons, channels are useful to segment your inventory in a manner that makes inventory more appealing to buyers. For example, you may want to create channels packaging inventory targeted at specific countries, demographics, devices, or any number of other factors. If, for instance, we target our channel for viewers in France, we may garner interest from advertisers whose primary market is in France. By segmenting your inventory accordingly, you may ultimately attain higher fill rates. Lastly, once you've created an ad exchange order within DFP, the number of creatives in your channel should match the number of ad X tags active within the order. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.